going on guys? This is Raymond Iron by McKinney. And Peppy, you was a good And today I want to talk about that you're already doing what you desire. You're already living that life your the life is you desire is already existing, guys. You're already doing it right now. It's simply recognizing it mentally. You're stepping into that state mentally. You mentally step into that state by focusing, by directing your focus through your thought patterns. Your focused thought patterns. The thought patterns you live by reveal what already exists. You already have the perfect partner. You already have the abundance, more than enough abundance financially. You have perfect health. That reality or world, guys, already exists. A world with no um, chaos, disease, poverty, sickness, um, conflict grind, hustle, all those things. You don't have to conform to that reality. You do not have to conform to that reality. All you have to do is to think from the state, think from the reality as if that perfect reality already exists through your repetition of thoughts. And you don't have to believe your thoughts. You don't have to believe um, you know, you don't have to believe, you don't have to, you don't have to be in some sort of knowing that's going to happen kind of thing. Because here's the thing, guys, miracles always, miracles happen to us unexpectedly, especially when we're least expecting it. So that's why when you think of, when you think of something, it is that repetition of thoughts ensures that you're going to experience these realities that you desire, that are exist within you, waiting to be express through you your thought patterns reveal your experiences period your pot thought patterns live by consistently reveal your experiences objectively you exist everywhere at every time here and now guys your dimensionally larger self exists everywhere at every time here and now because three-dimensional reality is just projection of your, of the subconscious state of field of information or energy or dreams within yourself. You contain the entire infinity of creation. You're just selecting one of infinitely many viewpoints of what already is and exists through your focused thought patterns. When you narrow your, when you narrow your focus, you get that reality that already exists. You you get that viewpoint of what already exists. And here's another way to think of it too, guys. A two-dimensional, or a three-dimensional object manifests or casts off a two-dimensional shadow. A fourth-dimensional object casts off a three-dimensional shadow. A fifth-dimensional object casts off a fourth-dimensional shadow so on and so forth and these and these infinite dimensions are contained within you guys the deeper you go within your own mind the m deeper your focus the more you're accessing these higher dimensions these infinitely higher dimensions infinite you're accessing your dimensionally larger self infinite dimensions possibilities viewpoints when you go so deep by really recognizing your thought patterns in relation when you really, because when you, the more you do this, guys, the more you direct your focus, the easier it is to go deeper and deeper within this subconscious state of field. And you can start to see ob events just m spawn out of thin air. Experiences spawn out of thin air as if a UFO has just spawned into existence, objective existence. Everything exists in the simultaneous, everything 
simultaneously exist in this eternal omnipresent moment here and now, guys. You have this one eternal omnipresent life. There is no past and there is no future because you contain those as well within the subconscious memory or data field of information, in, information, energy, or dreams. You can alter the path, you can alter the memory by occupying a different memory as if it went your way, if it, as if it had gone your way, or a memory of predetermined events saying, oh my gosh, this thing's going to happen, just say, eh, no, it's not going to happen, life is getting better. You can form to that, that memory of the, that future memory. You can form to that reality instead, and nothing bad is going to happen because you can form to that reality instead, where things are happening in your favor. Guys, you are literally nothing is impossible to you. I even thought about this one today too. Say, for example, marathon. You know, the fastest eligible marathon, the fastest legit marathon by Elliot Gibchoke, a Kenyan runner. He ran a two hours, one minute, and nine second marathon, 26.2 miles or 42.2 kilometers. That was like a pace of things like 437, I believe, which is like, dang. But here's another thing I talked about too, guys. Nothing is impossible to you. I believe when you're thinking of this dimensionally larger way of viewing life, just by you simply taking a walk, walking a marathon, versus like running 437, you can get there faster just by walking. That may just blow your mind just think, thinking, how is that even possible, Raymond? Guys, nothing is impossible to your dimensionally larger self. You can walk. You can walk as if just things are just casual, just casual walking. And see yourself that, man, you're just out, you're just outperforming everyone. Just by walking, convincing yourself that I outperform everyone just by walking. And they're just running their asses off, grinding so hard, just beating the living crap out of themselves. And you, guys, life is so simple. Life is more simple than you can ever fathom than your analytical mind can ever fathom. So simple, so paradoxically simple that we have a tendency to overcomplicate these things. It's life, I talk about this all the time, guys. Life is simply how you view it, directed by your convinced thought patterns, by your thought patterns lived by. And you don't have to believe them, you don't have to be in this, no one kind of thing. Um, all you have to do is like, just direct your thought patterns and just just th that in itself, you know when you direct your thought patterns, you know that's going to manifest. You know you start to believe. When you start to see, when your brain becomes familiar with experiences just by focus on it, that's when your brain starts to believe it more and you feel more confidence within yourself. Conf like um, One person that also mentioned this, Iron Cowboy James, James Iron Cowboy Lawrence, he said... That confidence breeds confidence. And, or success breeds success and confidence breeds confidence. You gain more success. You gain more. Um, the, more uh, the more success you. Or the more confidence you gain. It, it's a continuous growth process guys. You're forever continuously growing. You're, you're continuously discovering more of your infinite self. Peeling off infinite layers of yourself. And realizing wow. You are this powerful. You can teleport. You can levitate. You can fire can come out of your hands. If you're in a situation where it's just like cold, just in a cold situation, you can conjure up fire. You can heat up your body temperature. All these things, guys. We are superhumans. We are disguised. As superhumans, we are more powerful than we can ever analytically fathom. And guys, I'm still learning too. I'm still discovering this stuff, this way of viewing life. Because um, I don't want people to think like, oh, Raymond's the almighty power. He has all the answers kind of thing. I don't want people to view me as like some kind of 
this ego way of looking at life. It's not ego at all, guys. It's a very subtle way of looking at life. I talked about another message too that keep, you know, keep this power very subtle. Keep it low profile. I, in my opinion, I don't think it should ever be publicized. Saying, "Hey guys, I, I, I can, I have these amazing superpowers," kind of thing. You live by in secret, guys. People will, people will pick up on those cues. You don't have to tell anyone, guys. You don't have to get permission from everyone, from anyone. You give to and take from yourself moment by moment, just by your directed thought patterns, your directed focused thought patterns. Live by. Walk the talk, guys. Live what you're talking. Apply what you're, what knowledge you're gaining. Live from the desired reality by directing your focused thought patterns. And physical actions just physical actions are already in play, guys. Everything's already in play. You're just recognizing that viewpoint of what already exists. And there is no grind, struggle, suffering, um, grit, hustle kind of uh, um, just hustle, all these things. It's just recognizing what already is. And the more frequent the more frequent you occupy these states. Frequency. The more you frequent, you walk, you habitually occupy the states that are exist. They reveal themselves to you more, even more. All infant realities, guys. Infant realities, infant models of reality. You are the one who generates models of reality. You can view life and there are infant models of reality. And which model do you choose? I called my in one of my messages that I go by the iron bodying model of reality, or rather the Newtonian physics. The iron bodying model of reality is saying is simply this, guys. Life is how you view it, directed by your thought patterns. That's it. So if you if you find if you find that that's a cool model to go by. Cool. Iron, the iron body and model of reality is what I conform to. Moment by moment. I live by it. I make that my dominant reality and that life is rigged in my favor. So guys, I hope this video helps. And I bless you all and happy manifesting. What would the iron body do? I am the iron body. I've always been a master magician. And life is rigged in my favor. Bless you all and happy manifesting.